Hello everyone. Let's start the installation of MongoDB on Ubuntu. Ubuntu is a Linux operating system in which we are going to install a MongoDB server as a database. Now first of all what we require, we require a virtual machine called a VMware player whichever or VMware virtual box whichever it's convenient for you you can do that. I have a Windows operating system so I have installed a VMware player after that I have downloaded Ubuntu and configured that Ubuntu into our VMware player. Once it is configured you will get a screen as you can see in my. Now we have to open a terminal to write the command inside that. For that just move to dash home and in the search write terminal. Okay from here just select it out and terminal is open for us. Now first of all we have to log into a root user. For that we have a command su. Enter it will ask the password. Password is password. P A W S W O R D. Now I am logged in as a root user now. First of all we need to check it out our OS bit whether it's a 64 bit or a 32 bit because we have to perform the installation accordingly. For that we have a command you name hyphen M. It displays me I686 it means it's a 32 bit. I am already in a root directory now we have to download a MongoDB for a Linux. Okay. As you can see let me show you I have already downloaded and it's my and it's present in the downloads folder. Let me just move inside that. Okay. As you can see a MongoDB file is already present with a version of 2.4.11. Okay. Now what we have to do let's okay now we will create a user over here on which we will be running the mongodb database okay so for okay for that we have a command username let's create it as a mark oops something went wrong over here okay because we need to add a the command is something else by mistake I have given username okay so this is a command used to add any user now we have to set the password for it so for that we have a command p a w s w t let's set the password as mark itself it asked me to give any new password so let me give mark1 I need to retype it password successfully updated okay now we have to make a directory opt mongo Okay, a directory has been created with the name opt mongo. Now we have to move the files from download directory to opt mongo. So for that we have a command cp Okay, I am already in the root directory and in the downloads so I can directly uh, write mongo name of the file where we need to copy it opt Mongo. It's moving the file. Okay, it has been copied now. Now let's move to opt mongo directory to cross verify it. Okay, now we are in opt mongo. Let's press ls it will list all the files that are present inside that and we can see a mongodb file which we have copied to a mongodb opt mongodb now what we have to do we have to untar the file so for that we have a command tar space hyphen xvf space name of the file 
okay after that we have to press enter it will untar the packages of mongodb the version we are using over here it's 2.4.11 as we can see that it's untarred now now we can proceed further now let's rename the file because as you can see the name is quite long mongodb hyphen linux so let's rename it to only mongo so that we can use it easily for the further use let's give it as only mongo okay now what we have to do we have to move to mongo directory and let's cross check it in which directory we are in we are in oppo t mongo mongo let's see is anything present inside that okay we have a bin folder gnu and third party nodes and a readme file these are the things present inside the mongodb now i have made a user with the name mark earlier now what what i'll do i will mark mark as a user for this particular file so for that we have a command chwn hyphen r space mark okay after that the directory okay after that to bin okay now let's move to bin directory let's see what all files present inside that we have a mongod 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 dump mongo export mongo files mongo import we have a lot of files related to that okay let's create a directory where mongodb database file will be stored so for that we have a command mkdir space var lib space mongo okay a directory has been created now let's give the permissions to that oops something went wrong over here okay because i have used mark over here sorry mongodb and basically our user is mark so we have to write mark now it will not display the error to us yeah it's fine now what we have to do we have to create another directory with the name log mkdis space var log mongo okay now we have to mark mark as a user for this particular file and directory we can say mark okay now i have marked mark as a user for var lib mongo and var log mongo okay now it's all set now let's get a directory where mongodb files log file will be stored because generally or there is any once we are uh, starting a database and all so uh, it will collect all the logs means it will display all the listing over there in the log file means how the server is started if there is any error we can cross check the log file to cross verify and get the get it sorted out
after creating the directories we have to give the permission read write in so that we can do make any changes inside the var lib mongo and var log mongo so to give the permission we have a command ch mod space hyphen r triple seven after that a string var lib mongo okay I have given all the permissions to that in, in the same way I have to give the permissions to var var log mongo also okay I have the given the permission to log file as well now I have to log in to the uh, as a user mark over here to start the mongodb because I have given each and every permission to user mark so let me type a command for that su mark I am logged in as a mark user now as you can see that it displays me which user I am logged in that is mark now let's move into mongod bin directory to start the database for that we have a command cd space backslash opt we have to move to opt slash mongo after that again a mongo in a bin directory okay we are inside that now let's start the services mongod hyphen dd hi db path var lib mongo okay as you can see that I started let's wait for that till it completely comes up now we have to open a new terminal to start the service okay first of all let's log in as a root user after that we have to move to a cd space opt mongo mongo and bin directory okay we are inside that now let's finally start mongodb server okay now we are in a mongodb shell and we have a version of 4 sorry 2.4.11 it's successfully installed now we can proceed further with the some commands and check it out the working of it thank you